Results are also starting to come in all over right now. We're taking a look at one of the key statewide races uh, in Indiana for U.S. Senate. Republican uh, incumbent Senator Todd Young has defeated Democrat Hammond Mayor Tom McDermott and Libertarian James Seniak there, one of the earlier races called. Now, Hoosier voters are giving Republican Senator Todd Young another six years here in the Senate. Fox 59's Kristen Escow is now live downtown where the senator addressed his supporters. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Nick. Yes, Senator Todd Young speaking with supporters around 8.30 this evening, shortly after he got a call from Mayor Tom McDermott, who conceded the race. Now, tonight, Senator Young thanked his supporters, campaign staff, family, and friends, and he also briefly talked a bit about his priorities for the next six years as senator. Now, Young talked about stopping what he called reckless spending in Washington. He discussed the next state budget and told reporters the focus needs to be on getting spending under control control. He said he wants to see investments in security and infrastructure be prioritized in those discussions. Young also talked about stopping President Biden's agenda, but said he will work across the aisle when possible. And since Republicans could take control of one or both chambers of Congress, I asked Senator Young which areas he feels have the most potential for both parties to find compromise. Upping our game with respect to uh, competing against China, something I've been very actively involved in, uh, ensuring that we continue to improve our, our uh, funding programs for uh, upskilling and reskilling our workforce. Now, another big race we've been following here is the Indiana Secretary of State's race. Republican candidate Diego Morales addressed supporters about an hour ago, shortly before Democrat Destiny Wells called him to concede the race. Now, Morales had faced criticism on several fronts throughout this campaign regarding his voting and residency records in 2018, questioning the 2020 election results, um, questions about his two departures from his previous time working working at the Indiana Secretary of State's office, and he seemed to address some of that criticism here tonight when he spoke with reporters. The truth always prevail. Let me say that again. The truth always prevail. Always. And Morales addressing the crowd of supporters there. Now, he also did say he's going to work hard in the role and, in his words, take the office to the next level. GOP party chairman Kyle Hupfer also addressed the crowd here tonight, saying he believes the election of Morales indicates Hoosier voters care about election integrity. For now, we're live here in downtown Indy. Kristen Escow, Fox 59 News. All right, Kristen, thank you. Now